Hey friends, uh, this is Waylon. Not sure if I'm live, I'm using Facebook's new interface. And it says live, but I can't see comments. I think Facebook is uh, struggling with their new video interface. If you can see this, please comment, and that'll help me know if I'm actually on. Um, That'd be a huge help. Anyone? I'm uh, just turning Instagram on here. Hey, Instagram folks, let's switch you around, switch you through this. Hey, folks, so we're live on Facebook, we're live on Instagram, and we're using for the first time the new Facebook uh, interface here. Hey, Christina, thank you. In this new interface, I wish you could see it. It's uh, Instagram people can see it. It's insane. It, uh, this is, I don't know what I, I feel like I'm looking at the dashboard of a commercial jet without having um, had a license to fly or training to fly. So I want to talk about something serious. That doesn't mean we have to stop smiling. Is everyone here ready to talk about some truth? I've noticed since the, uh, the, uh, quarantine started there's eight thousand million live videos a second so i appreciate so many of you being here live on facebook and uh instagram uh please let's begin by saying where in the world you're from and if you did anything around earth day what you did and if you didn't what i would love to invite all of us to do is to say one hard little thing hard and little that we're going to do this year to be more environmentally responsible and it can't be something we do every year so like i would say the most important single thing we can do to make mother earth happier would be to vote to vote because huge decisions are made on high and um you know we can't change the whole world by using less plastic wrap we can change the whole world, however, by using less plastic wrap if tons of us do that and we support companies that support that. So I want to give a shout out to Kala Cloths. Can someone uh, type Kala Cloth? All right. Yanina is uh, from Costa Rica and she's living in Portland. You are my, um, my fantasy of where, where I would be from and where to live. That sounds amazing. Um, so let's all mention one little thing that we haven't done prior. Here's my thing. I'm no longer going to buy, this breaks my heart, but it's for Mama Earth. I'm no longer going to buy bananas. If Lindsay or Molly are on, can you put the organic banana and how awful they are for the planet? Can you put that in the um, comments, at least in uh, um, Facebook? This interface is so bad. Facebook should be ashamed um okay i'm sure they're working on it good luck uh so how am i remaining positive uh cynthia the fundamental thing i think about being positive is i don't care that much about it um not because i want to be negative but i don't think we need to be positive i think we need to be honest um that's the most positive thing possible so it's good to be you know have a optimistic and forward-looking outlook and to handle all of our obstacles and just go for it. Thank you for typing Kala Kloss. That's a company we should all support. Regular bananas are far worse. Organic bananas are really awful. I hope Molly or Lindsay are getting that link in there. Um, doing composting like Fred Leeson in Bellingham, Washington, that's one of the most amazing things you can do. So did you know, you know, landfills are awful, right? They create methane. And so if you search, this is going to kill everyone. If you search bananas on elephantjournal.com, you'll find that article. Please put someone put that in the link. I'm not seeing it in either Facebook or Instagram. Um, I, I think it won't. But uh, yeah, here's a suggestion. Erin, stop, or she's doing it for herself. Stop supporting products from China and Indonesia where the vast majority of plastic pollution is coming from. Yes. So that's also positive and that's honest. I love that. Um, Kauai growing produce there, walking more. So Ali, you know, the people who live in Hawaii, you think of Hawaii as super environmental, but, um, you know, so much of the food is shipped in. So if you can 
uh, wherever you are, if you can garden. I mean, that's one of the most important things is I try to do 100% of my shopping or 90% at my local farmer's market. So you're supporting local farmers. That's something Republicans want to do, conservatives want to do, liberals want to do, Democrats want to do. Everyone wants to support your local farmer. Uh, there's nothing better. And then it's so much fresher. You know how you get lettuce and it wilts over a couple of days? Well, if you get it before those few days, it's never even shipped. It's never been frozen. It's be never been refrigerated. Just boom, boom, boom. so much better for you. Support local businesses, Maria says on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. So that's a huge one, particularly now. Amazon, Walmart, you know, uh, Apple, Google, Facebook, which owns both of these. They don't need our love right now. You know who needs our love is local mom and pops. It is a desperate, desperate, desperate time. And if you can't, if the local mom and pops are closed, you know, find local merchants. There's some great ones on Instagram. It's not black and white, right? There's some great um, local merchants even on Amazon. So finding local merchants to support. Yeah, no meat, pork, chicken ever. You sound awfully close to going vegan. Um, so yeah, eating less meat, eating less uh, fish, uh, going vegan, someone else is saying, fantastic, easy way to cut down on incredible waste and suffering. Um, and, you know, oh, here's that article, Why Bananas Are Dead to Me by Emma Ruffin. Thank you, Molly. I think that's the article I, I wanted. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, those are great. Why You Should Boycott the Conventional Banana by Robbie Stout. That's on Elephant Journal. So on Instagram, we can't give you links on Instagram because Instagram's selfish. Facebook at least allows links, but read that banana article. Bananas are so bad. So my personal thing is I'm not going to get mangoes. I'm not going to get papayas. I'm not going to get bananas, you know, because they're literally shipped, flown, ships, whatever. Um, it's a huge uh, carbon footprint. There's a lot of poison. There's a lot of plastic. Uh, there's a lot of not fair labor involved. So I'm going to try to shop local more. Um, no plastic water bottles. Our, our uh, hospitals, our hotels, they don't need water bottle, plastic water bottles. Every drinking fountain you see should be also, we should add hand washing stations. We're going to need to do that. Yeah. Don't send me uh, bananas from Florida. Just bring them to me on your, you know, tandem bike. Uh, yeah, planting seeds. I mean, these are simple things you can, you know, for a lot of us who are stuck indoors, you can fill all your windowsills and sprout. We have a great article on sprouting. Can Maybe we can put that article, it's by Jules, Julie, on how to sprout stuff. Uh, oh, look, Clear Quartz Creative found one of the banana articles. So there's Why Bananas Are Dead to Me, Gasp by Emma Ruffin, great title. And the other one, it, and that's only for people who are far away from bananas. If you're in Costa Rica, enjoy your, your local bananas, right? Anyway, let's bring it back. I wrote a thing on Instagram and on Elephant today called Unhappy Earth Day. Um, this is a time when the EPA has literally been turned, you know, we have let the fox into the hen house and the EPA is literally destroying our health, our baby's health, our, um, and destroying everything the EPA, which was a bipartisan thing. It was started by Nixon, Clean Air Act, Nixon, um, healthy forest or whatever it was called back then, Nixon. Um, we used to all appreciate the our environment. I mean, it's our environment. It's not ours as in ownerships, ours as in we're part of it. It's not the environment out there. I interviewed Deepak Chopra and I said, the environment. And he yelled at me about that. He said, it's not the environment, it's our environment. Um, and he's so right. I've never said the environment again. It's not an objective out there. We are part of it, and literally the water we drink the and bathe in, the food we eat, you know all of this. But we are heading for tough times. So someone asked about being positive. Being positive is really not that important to me. Being honest and open is important because you know what? From a Buddhist point of view, you are fundamentally positive. So you can be as honest as you want and you won't be negative. Being negative can be critical, being negative can be positive, right? Being critical, being uh, discerning, being observant, not going for people's BS. If you're a parent, you wanna teach your children to be critical, which isn't negative, but you know. Anyway, our whole obsession with being negative or positive, I don't think um, 
is necessary. We can just let go of it because we're fundamentally good. Maybe we can put the basic goodness article in there. Yeah, so there's my unhappy Earth Day uh, little write-up in Instagram on at Waylon Lewis and at Elephant Journal. So I really think we need to realize that we are raping and pillaging and punching and hurting and suffocating and heating up uh, Mother Earth. And it's heartbreaking. So yeah, mushrooms can save the world. What else can save the world? Regenerative farming can literally reverse climate change. Every tree, I just was walking red, my dog right here, and they were cutting down 200 year old trees here in Boulder. Why? Uh, they absorb so much oxygen. They create so much clean air for us. They absorb pollution. Um, they provide wildlife habitat. They quiet things down a little bit with all the traffic. It's, it's heartbreaking to see these huge giants that I've, I've literally loved these trees in, in my park right here for years. Um, and they're getting cut down because of the ash borer beetle, which has expanded its range largely due to climate change because it no longer freezes in the winter. So it's an urgent time. We all know that, but we don't need to get depressed. We need to get depressed briefly. In Buddhism, they say, regret for three seconds, then move forward. So think about the pain and the suffering and the sadness, and then act. How can we act? One thing. I wrote also, Lindsay is on fire here in Mali. I wrote an article about regret for three seconds. Uh, Trumpa, if you search that one. All the links, if you're in Instagram, if you go to facebook.com slash elephant journal, we're putting all the links in the comments, facebook.com slash elephant journal. The final thing I want to say is we have been doing these amazing community Fridays for you throughout the quarantine. Who wants genuine community right now? That is fun. That is inspiring. That is real. It isn't bullshit. Uh, we're doing it every Friday and Friday by my calculations is two days from now. Um, a day and a half really because it's in the morning and the link if someone in Instagram can type it and Facebook elephantjournal.com slash retreat so we basically when the quarantine started um, which is a magical time of learning how to cook or slowing down or being you know going for walks six foot distant walks with friends or it's a really super painful time you're losing your job your business it's um, you don't have food security, you know, it's both uh, and other things as well. It's exhausting if you're a healthcare worker, um, if you're an essential worker of any kind. So uh, it's all kinds of different things. And sometimes it's a couple of each. So we're, we, when the quarantine started, I said, let's make part of Elephant Academy free. So every Friday we get together and we basically do three things. We do a meditation training, we do a writing exercise that is about finding your voice. You don't have to care about writing. You don't need to be a writer. Thank you, smart t -t girl. Uh, girl. Um, elephantjournal.com slash retreat is the link. So it's free, but you have to register. You have to save your spot. And it's at 11 MST, Mountain Standard Time is where I'm at, but it really depends where in the world you are. And um, I want to say that we have we're, our goal is to get up to 6,000 this week. We had uh, like 5,000 people last week. So if you join, um, Goddess Shakti, so it's at 11 a.m. MST, so it's probably like, where is West Coast? Is that two hours earlier or one hour earlier? Um, I'm going to say two. So I'm going to say that's like 9 a.m. your time, but you can also watch it late. Um, you know, it'll be recorded, but you have to go to that elephantjournal.com slash retreat to get that. Um, so that's the final thing. It's fun community. We do a meditation exercise, a writing exercise, not for writers, but for people who want to find their voice in this important time. And we do a uh, community connection. So it's, you know, as you can tell by 5,000 people joining, it's been super popular. It's not uh, just another damn live video. There's so many right now. I feel like just getting offline sometimes but it's a genuine time to actually get some of the fruit of Elef Elephant Academy, our online training school at Elephant Journal, without having to pay for it. Elephantjournal.com slash retreat. And that's our offering to you uh, during this quarantine, during this pandemic. Please stay safe. Please don't listen to your governor if he's an idiot or she is an idiot. Please don't listen to your president if he's an idiot. Uh, please stay safe. The more we can flatten this curve, um, 
the better. And until we have testing, it's really not super smart to get out there and, and get casual. People are saying, yeah, but we have to balance this with the economy. That's insane. If you go out and you get sick and you get 45 other people sick, which is an average, our economy is going to be in shambles for longer. We need to punch this coronavirus, smother it, and get testing. Why do we not have testing? So many countries have testing. Why does the US not have testing? Partially because we rejected testing from uh, WHO in Europe. Uh, it was offered to us a couple months ago. We rejected it. We have our own test. We don't want your test. Our test didn't work. That's fine. Accidents happen, but we need testing. So thank you to my governor. Thank you um, to Andrew Cuomo in New York. Thank you. Um, to any governor, I don't, I don't care about the party who is looking at science, who is looking at safety and who is looking at the economy and is realizing we could have attacked this a lot earlier like we did with Ebola, uh, SARS, others. We could have kept this a lot smaller, um, it's insane. So what we can do is be sane. What we can do is whew, read through that stress, remember our fundamental goodness, read some of those links in the facebook.com slash elephant journal uh, comments about basic goodness and um we'll be we'll be okay we'll be okay in that fundamental way which can include the fact that we're totally not okay some of us some of our sisters and brothers are not okay so that's where empathy comes from it from uh comes uh comes in we have to be acting and helping with empathy so myself elephant journal uh there was this auction called still we rise we're going to give to a local food pantry. We're doing these free Fridays. Please come to elephantjournal.com slash retreat. There's so many people on, I don't want to hang up, but 16 minutes to me is plenty. Thank you so much.